All right, what's happening, YouTube? What's happening, Twitch? Um, here we go. Here we go. Another episode of Flex Friday. And this is going to be Flex Friday, episode six, if I'm not mistaken. I wrote it down as episode six, so hopefully this is episode six. Um, so here we go, guys. Here we go. Um, so we got a soul here. We got a soul here from um, Kiro. Kiro. -o. Kiro, -o, Kiro, -o. I, I, I hope I said that right, even though I said it four times. Um, using him as a frontline bruiser, testing in PvP, running him on hit point percentage, defense percentage, and hit point percentage. Not sure what's the best artifact though. All right, so we got a we got a bruiser. Wow, we got a bruiser soul here. This is very interesting. I can see him working too. Um, I can definitely see him working. Um, so we have a bruiser um, soul here running Junkyard Dog, um, running a hit point percentage neck, defense percentage ring, hit point percentage boots here, um, running a speed set. He's 176 speed. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm biting. I'm biting. Um, so his attack is 2K, um, 61K CP, um, 1K defense, um, health is 16K. Um, speed is one, uh, 176, critical hit chance is uh, uh, 81, critical hit damage is 180. All right, so with this guy here, um, I can see this working. Um, so one thing about Guild Wars and stuff is if you can surprise somebody, and this isn't your typical build, um, if you can surprise um, somebody, what? Oh, screen. Well, I was just informed that um, I had it on my MVP soul clearing Golem 11, guys. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave that in as a blooper. There's no point in doing it over. Um, so these are the stats that you weren't able to see. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I can wrap my head around this soul, guys. I can definitely wrap my whole... Uh, my, my, yeah, my, my head around this soul. Wow, serious bloopers happening today. Um, so, the cool thing about Guild Wars is if you can surprise somebody in Guild Wars with a unit, um, they're not, uh, some people probably won't be expecting this uh, 17k health right here. Um, pretty insane. Um, I can see this working for sure. Um, you got a few more upgrades to do um, just on the chest piece, um, Junkyard Dog. Um, every time a healer goes, they're going to get burned alive. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, I can definitely see this used in the Guild Wars comp, Guild Wars defense team. I think I would have some serious regrets for win against him. Only issue I would have is like maybe a Luna can come in and delete him super easy. But then again, are you expecting 176 speed from him? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so yeah, I like your soul, man. Um, let me know how he turns out because I really think this soul, uh, um, might be a good guild wars thing and I kind of want to build one like that. Unfortunately, I already built mine up. All right. Our second unit of the day, guys, is a says here. This says is from, uh, Kai, Kai, Kaiyu, Kai, Kaiyu. Um, this, this says here, there's, there's no description on this says, except a lot of people um, with a bunch of emojis and, um, and, and, and emotes in uh, Discord liking it. Um, ooh, ooh, I like, I like. Um, so this is Windrider right here. Um, Windrider is one of those artifacts. Um, let, me, let me pull that up right here if I can talk about this stuff too. Uh, Windrider is a very cool artifact to be running on units. Um, it is a, uh, man, it gives you an attack buff. Ooh, I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Um, anyways, anyways, it gives you an attack buff um, um, from from his S3. So his S3 is going to attack before the explosion happens. You're going to get an attack buff from Windrider, um, which is going to cause bigger explosions to happen. 54% uh, attack buff at 24. So it's 54% attack buff at 24%. Thanks, Lord Smo. I appreciate it, man. Um, so what we're rocking here is a four-piece attack set, two-piece critical hit. Um, 80k CP. This is a 39, uh, 3,936 attack. Um, we're gonna skip defense and um, defense. Uh, 8, 8,458 health, uh, 137 speed. Uh, critical hit chance is 75, and critical hit damage is 265. Um, so you're probably asking um, why he's so slow, and the reason why he's so slow is his right side gear is attack, attack. And this one's probably critical hit damage right here. 
Um, and the reason why it's so slow is you're going to be using CR pushers. You're either going to go a double CR pusher route or you're going to use somebody like Auxiliary Lots who can 100% CR push them to the front um, to delete units. Um, uh, so that's pretty much what we got going on with this says he's definitely a PvP says he's part of a PvP cleave that a lot of people are using in the higher ranks of uh, uh, PvP and arenas and stuff like that so yeah very very cool says that's what he's basically used for his PvP there so I like it um, very very nice uh, says there Kaya Kaiyu I uh, appreciate it all right guys we got ourselves a kitty Clarissa here um, this Kitty Clarissa is from Kron's Disciple Man. Um, so Kitty Clarissa is one of those units that people are confused on. Um, she, she's a very good PvE unit. I run a PvE version myself. Uh, this one is rocking Strat Gauntlet, is rocking a speed, four-piece speed set, um, two-piece immunity. Um, so the immunity is for she doesn't get CC turn one. Strat Gauntlet in case she get dispelled. Um, hopefully you can resist whatever abilities getting hit you're getting hit with maybe from ml ball and the whole idea behind her she's 202 speed ml ball ml armenthia they're gonna go ahead and go they're gonna stun the crap out of you put you to sleep kitty clarissa is gonna go nope that's not happening does her s3 breaks everybody out of it um so this kitty clarissa is rocking 44k uh 1267 attack um is rocking 11k health um almost 12k uh 202 speed um 53 chance to crit 153 percent crit damage um 51 percent effectiveness and 44 effective resistance effective resistance it can definitely get up there a little higher with strat gauntlet you can get it up to 60 percent um you can get it up to 60 percent the health is a little bit low for this build but you know good gg man you're working at it um once you get her up there a little bit more she's going to be so solid for you such a great um great option to ruin ml ball and ml armenthia's day um so yeah definitely a good job there k runs disciple i like your kitty clarissa and i'm a huge fan of kitty clarissa myself love the unit love the unit all right we got a says here guys this says is a uh from calvin uh fellow guilty fellow guilty here um, this says is running um, Portrait of Souls. Um, he wants the flex too. Is running um, looks like running a amulet that has the uh, critical um, critical damage on there. Um, definitely running an attack ring and attack boots on him. Um, and is running a four piece attack set and uh, a broken set. Um, very very nice uh, portrait of savers. Uh, portrait of savers right now is at uh, 18. Uh, a maxed out portrait of savers gives you 20%. So I think this is like 12% or 11%. I think this is 12% da extra damage on a character that is above half health. Um, 70 wake 71 KCP. Um, 4,517 attack. Um, the health is 7914 speed is 116 critical hit chance is 60. um so critical hit damage is 259 and effective resistance is uh 59 percent and effectiveness 27. Uh, so this says is definitely a pvp says um so the reason like this says is so low guys um you're probably looking at that critical hit chance and the speed and going what's going on here um this says is probably set up and i'm just assuming here um don't see it on the side list here, but I'm just assuming this says is being used with auxiliary lots and um, um, challenger uh, challenger dom. Uh, challenger dom can give you 50% crit, and auxiliary lots can CR push them to the front. Um, I think this is also an option with Tywin too, if I'm not mistaken. I do see Tywin on that list, and Tywin can give you critical hit chance and and help with that. So very well could be using a Tywin S2 for an attack buff and uh, to push them up to that hundred and 100% critical hit chance with that 260 crit damage with that uh, 4,517 attack. This says it's just going to delete people. That's all there is. Um, so this says it's going to do a lot of damage to tanks and stuff like that. Um, you have to be less picky with a build like this. You can use port if you're using Portrait of Souls instead of Windrider. Um, you can definitely go after the tankier builds and delete them. Um, but you're not going to get as big splash damage as you would from the um, um, than you would from Windrider. But yeah, this is a very very solid PvP build here. Um, I like it. Uh, good job, Calvin. Um, keep up the good work with this guy. Yeah, that would be 16% uh, with uh, Savior of Souls. Uh, or a portrait of Saver. Saver of Souls? Where am I getting that from? 
All right, guys, we got a, uh, a Luna here. This Luna is from Barry Eldas Baron Genis. I hope I got your name right, but that's a mouthful. That is mouthful. Um, comment here. I hear. I don't know why I have this high of CP. Must be in the wrong places. Um, let's see here. We'll take a look at the unit. We'll take a look at the unit. Uh, we're running um, Tomfa on her. Um, Tomfa is more of a PvP artifact. Um, that's it's kind of like a uh, um, portrait of saviors um, same same, same uh, The same idea behind it except it's a uh, 4% I believe it's 4% less um, uh, 4% less. Let's see here Exorcist tone foot maxed out is 16% uh, right now that's at 12. Um, so that would be what? Uh, yeah, that, that that that's still that's a little increased damage on there. It goes up by two if I'm not mistaken. So three, six, nine, twelve. That's four. Um, would that be ten? No, it'd, it'd be going up by one. So that that would be like thirteen percent, maybe twelve percent that um, extra increased damage to characters above fifty percent health. Um, so it looks like we're running critical hit damage right here. Um, for this necklace attack percentage there uh, looks like we're running speed boots here. Yeah, we're running speed boots Those are the Pegasus boots dropped out of 10-3 uh, normal exploration uh, I don't know where that armor is um, definitely could be increasing that armor. It's a 55, but uh, it works for the time being Got the PvP arena season 2 helmet and the PvP arena season 2 uh, axe um, so running a four-piece attack two-piece crit here 66 kcp um 2961 attack 712 defense 900 9986 uh health 152 speed um critical hit chance 74 percent and critical hit damage 214 effectiveness 58 uh, very nice luna um definitely definitely a little bit of work that needs to be done on her uh i see tone fall on her and first thing i think is pvp and if you're not CR pushing into Luna, um, she's probably going to get deleted with those hit points. Um, but you're you're on the right track, man. You're on the right track. Uh, 9k hit points, in my opinion, is um, the bare minimum you would want for Abyss. Um, Abyss and raids. Um, attacks fine. Critical hit damage could be up there just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But very nice character. Um, if you're aiming for a PvP build, you definitely want to get this up into the 12k range for the health and stuff like that. But overall, like, very nice Luna. Um, very, very good start. Um, nice effectiveness on her. Um, do some work. Um, maybe eventually you'll get the, um, the, the, the PvP chest and get some good rolls on it. Maybe. Maybe. Good job on your character, though. All right, guys, we got another Dizzy. I know you saw a bunch of Dizzies last week, but this is another Dizzy. Um, this one's running Ilya's violin. This one is done by uh, uh, Skylo. Uh, uh, everybody knows him by Frost Guides and Twitch. Um, so I, uh, Ilya or Lila's violin um, has a maxed out, which this is maxed out, an 80% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy after attacking. Uh, this one's running a... Ooh, interesting build here. Okay. This one's running a four-piece counter and two broken sets. Wow. Okay. Uh, 46k CP. Uh, 1,772 attack. Um, 966 defense. 15k hit points. 125 speed. 36% uh, chance to crit, crit damage 172, effectiveness 67, and 46, 47 effective resistance. Huh. So, this is one of those things, normally you go into Guild Wars and you're looking at a unit and you're like, yeah, you know what? That Dizzy's probably a speed Dizzy. Yeah, maybe that Dizzy's probably, maybe that Dizzy's probably 180 speed. Um not really too worried about her and then and then you go in with the cleave team and then you get counter attacked and stunned and your buffs are stripped this could be a very annoying unit this could be a very annoying unit in pvp guys uh yeah uh like like like, like i like i said before like if you're doing something somebody doesn't expect sometimes in guild wars um, do you have a general idea what the meta is? But it, it, sometimes when you step out of that meta, it, it is the reason why you're going to win a fight because your your, your cookie cutter build that they thought you had wasn't the cookie cutter build. 
Um, so yeah, this could be one of those things that could throw you throw you off and kind of irritate you. Um, I like this dizzy. Uh, good job on it, Frost Guides. I'd be kind of curious to hear how this has been working out for you too, man. So yeah, keep up the good work on it. All right, so we got ourselves another says, guys. Apparently, this is Flex Your Says, uh, Flex Friday. Um, still needs some work, but he does a good job with ML Lots. Nice, nice. So ML Lots does a CR push. Um, so what we're running here, guys, we're running another artifact. Uh, it is Windrider. Windrider. We talked about Windrider on the last build. Uh, we're running a four-piece attack. Two-piece crit, guys. Um, some very, very nice CP there. 82k CP. 4,732 attack. 8,981 health. 120 speed. 100% chance to crit. Critical hit damage is 190. Um, effectiveness 31. Effective resistance is 35. You got yourself... Uh, this, this this says, by the way, is from Brook. Uh, Brook Sandvistin. Brook Sandvistin. I hope I got that right. Um, this says it's pretty cool. Very, very high attack. Uh, my biggest question is, is, uh, is not having enough crit damage going to hurt you on this build? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. This is definitely a PvP says. Um, and you definitely said uh, needs some work. You're probably working on getting some crit damage on him, I'm guessing. But yeah, this is a good start for your says, man. Uh, I'm sure he's already deleting things in the arena with a little bit more crit damage behind him. Um, he's just going to be destroying stuff, man. But 5k attack, you may not you may not need the crit damage, to be honest, man. Uh, I, I'd be really curious to know how this works out. But yeah, this is a very, very strong says. I'd hate to get hit by him. I would. I would hate to get hit by him in the arena. That's why I avoid says comps in the arena. My Vildred's too squishy. <laughs> Alright, guys. We got ourselves a Vildred here. This dude has the best cleavage in the game, guys. Best cleavage in the game, in case you didn't know. Um, my personal opinion. Uh, this is from Kyle's. Uh, need higher attack, crit chance, crit damage still. But I wanted to post a non says cleave, guys. A non says cleave. We're rocking Exorcist Tompa here, maxed out. That's 16% increased damage when an enemy's health is above 50%. Very very nice. Uh, is rocking a four piece, five piece crit when. Um, so yeah, just ro rocking a. Uh, 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 double crit set, double crit set, um, 75 KCP, 4,160 attack, I can appreciate that, defense is 653, health is 8,836, speed is 127, uh, wow, okay, that's pretty impressive, 81 um, critical hit chance, um, 246 critical hit damage, uh, effectiveness 11%, effective resistance 39, um, so you definitely need a double CR pusher with this guy, um, I don't know if he posted anything for CR pushers in here, doesn't look that way, um, but what you would want to do is CR push into him, um, and you'd have to have two really good CR pushers, or ML lots, or auxiliary lots, um, but yeah, very very solid says uh, what he's going to do is cleave the whole entire team and you're just going to watch them melt. If you happen to have a defense breaker with you too and you defense break everybody, watch them melt even more. Uh, with that much attack behind him and that much crit damage, um, shouldn't have too much problem um, going through most team comps. Um, may struggle a little with some tank comps, but that's the reason why you avoid those tank comps in PvP when you're running Vildred. All right, we got ourselves a Silver Blade Aramanthia here. The Silver Blade Aramanthia is from Extrich. Um, Extrich. Um, still need to work on effectiveness, I guess. All right, so, huh? Still need to work on effectiveness, I guess. That that's that's your answer, huh? That's your answer to this. Okay. Um, Rock and Sierra Ren here. Um, maxed out Sierra Ren has a 50% chance to inflict a random diva for one turn after attacking. Uh, one from a de um, one from decrease attack, decrease hit chance, silent sleep, and poison. Uh, we are rocking right here a four uh, a, a speed set and a hit set, guys. Um, looks like 70k CP, 3k attack. Oh, 1,000 defense, um, 7,870 health, 180 speed. Critical hit chance is 48%, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because what's going to happen is you're going to get stunned and you're going to sit there and you're going to burn alive. And burning alive is not a very nice feeling. 
169 uh, critical hit damage, 156 uh, effectiveness. Um, need more effectiveness, huh? Uh, need more effectiveness. Wow. This is a nice Silver Blade Aramanthia. All right. So this Silver Blade Aramanthia could probably be used outside of PvP. Um, has barely enough health. Um, if you have the right team comp, could probably get away with using this in some Abyss content and raids if you do things right. Um, but definitely, definitely um, very, very good for PvP. All you got to do is CR push into her and watch watch everybody burn. Um, you can you can do, you know, this is probably an ML uh, or Silver Blade Aramanthe that's being used with the ML ball or something like that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, the units weren't listed there, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but that 3k attack with her burns is just going to be nasty. It's going to hurt so bad. It's going to hurt so bad. Mimity, what is happening? I use on lab normal. Oh, nice. So doing normal labs with this, uh, normal rate. Nice Mimity. Uh, you do need more effectiveness. <laughs> Confirm. Needs more effectiveness, apparently. Um, but yeah, very, very solid Silver Blade Aramanthia. Uh, you use the Silver Blade Aramanthia for uh, um, um, PvP, I take it to? Uh, but yeah, I really like your Silver Blade Aramanthia. You did a good job on her. Um, she's the Silver Blade Aramanthia that uh, I avoid in um, PvP. Very much avoid in PvP. Um, CR pusher and burn people alive while they're stunned. It's terrible. Alright guys, so this is going to be wrapping it up for uh, this part of Flex Friday. Um, there's going to be a part 2 video of this one. Um, it was super long. Didn't realize it. We're going to have two 20 plus minute videos instead of releasing just a 40 minute video. Um, I figured two 20, one, 20 minute ones should be a little bit better. Um, but definitely longer than I intended. But that's okay. Uh, we'll just release two videos. Uh, why not? Um, it just makes sense. So um, most definitely I enjoyed this episode of Flex Friday, guys. Um, it was really good. Um, lots of stuff to learn about. Um, I took your guys' comments and suggestions about trying to talk a little bit more on why these characters are built this way um, to help educate you guys and um, maybe get a better idea of hey, that's the type of build I want. That's what I'm looking for. Um, the past videos have been, you know, kind of vague. Um, so I tried to go into artifacts a little more, um, tried to go into equipment a little more um, um, when it comes to right side stuff so um, you guys could get a better idea. And we also tried to talk about di uh, diversity with gear and um, how some sets just, you know, Sets are good, sets are good, but sets don't always matter. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback you want to send me, um, send it on YouTube. Um, if you if you want to send it in private, you can send it to me on Discord with the link below and all that good stuff. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching this. Um, stay tuned for part two coming real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm always doing some sort of content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch TV. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or Discord. All those links are below. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.